Sebastian must be at our usual playing site waiting for me. I had to do most of my chores before leaving, so that when my mum comes back, she will not be angry I left the house untidy. I hope she doesn't close early from her shop today. I want to play very well before she comes home. Let me go and meet my best friend. I want to show him the new comic I got from my neighbor in school. You came out late, Samara, I thought I told you let's be here in an hour's time. Those guys from the other high school are already gone. I wanted us to teach them a lesson in street soccer. But here we are, you didn't show up, so they left. Don't be angry my friend Sebastian, I had to tidy up the house a little before I could come out. You know unlike you, I am the only one at home, so I have no one to do it for me. I envy you, you can go out and play anytime you like while your sisters cover you up. Don't envy me at all, you don't know what it's like to be in the midst of girls, they are always talking and doing things I am not interested in. That's why you see me avoiding the house at all cost. Left for me, I would come stay with you and have a brother I can relate with. <laughs> That's the irony of it all, I am in my house wishing I had sisters. Interacting with them would have thought me a lot about girls. You know, anytime I have questions, I would come ask them. By now, I would have had a girlfriend. Well, that's by the way, we will get another chance to play with those boys and we will definitely teach them a lesson when we meet them. I brought a limited Wolverine, 1984 edition comic for you. My class seat neighbor brought the whole series to school, so I asked to take this one home because I know you will like to read it. Wow, this is a classic. Your neighbor must be from a very wealthy family, for him or her to have the whole collection because it cost a fortune to have them. You are correct, she is from a rich family. You need to see the type of car they come to pick her up with. I think I know who you are talking about. The very fair beautiful girl. Yes, I would really like to be that rich when I grow up. That is a must for me, I can't negotiate being rich when I grow up. Not after being through this hardship and hungry lifestyle. I will do anything to get rich. Samara, your mummy is back, she is looking everywhere for you. You better hurry home. I have to go home now, are you not going Sebastian? Your mum, won't she be angry if you come back late? No, I will hang around a little before heading home. There's nothing I am doing at home. Alright, see you tomorrow in school. Mama, are you back from the bank? Yes Olivia, the issue with my account was resolved very fast. You know my son's school fees was on that account, and I cannot afford staying too long without accessing that account. I see, I don't even know how I am going to get Sebastian's fees on time. I have not sold enough items from my shop. I am just hoping on God. Things have been too tough recently. You see this fees I am holding for Samara, is the money his aunties and uncles gave him during the festive period. I didn't buy anything nor did I give him the chance to ask of it. At least your husband's relatives used to remember your son, mine, they come to me for help. I still have to give them from the little I sell here. Well, mine is not too rosy my dear, at least your husband is there to help out with a lot of things. So you have an advantage more than me. In all, let's just thank God we have something to hope on. A lot of people out there don't have. You are correct Mama, we pray our labor will never be in vain. Amen. Please let me have the keys to my shop, let me hope I can sell something no matter how small, before the day is spent. I am sorry Sebastian, I have apologized many times to you now, I had to return the comic, she asked me about it. You could have told her you didn't come to school with it, that you forgot it and will bring it on Monday, since today was Friday. I could have done that and she will never give me anything ever again. Or do what I did, then on Monday, I will collect two of it and you read it till Friday. How about that? Well, if you put it like that, and it actually goes that way, then it's the best. But if not, then my way would have been better. It's just because we don't have money as they do, if not, I would have told my mummy to buy it for me. See Samara, I vow today never to be poor on my life. I will be rich, no matter the cost. Same here with me my friend, I will make money so I can buy anything my mum wants. But first of all, she said I need to pass my college and go to the university and get a degree before I can take care of her and myself. Well I don't know about me in college and university, all I know is that I will make money at all cost. At all cost, that's a bit on the airtream, don't you think? 
No, it's not. I mean, look at us, we can barely afford the basic things we need to survive. We live in a face me I face you apartment, while some of our friends live in duplexes and apartments. We have to trek back and forth to school, while others take a ride on the latest cars in town. I can't remember the last time I ate three meals in a day not to talk of adding dessert or brunch, today was the first day I knew those words existed. It was Mike who was tell me he used to have ice cream parfait as brunch. What is a parfait? Not to talk of an ice cream parfait. It's a meal where ice cream is mixed with some roasted nuts and fruit. Come on Samara, I know that you know what it is in paper, the question is have you ever tasted it? Do you even know where they sell it? That's my point. Here we are not knowing what brunch is at home, and someone is having parfait as brunch, then you tell me not to do anything to get rich. Well my friend, I can't afford not to be. Well, if you put it that way. My son Samara, I am going to really miss you, now that you are going to the university. Remember we have no one as a godfather or carer except for God. So you need to focus on why you are going to the university. I thank God it was because of your scholarship that you got from the Philanthropies Foundation, that made it possible to attend the university, as such, you need to be meeting all those conditions you were given in your offer letter. Please, do not derail. Always apply conscience and common sense whenever you are making any decision. Do not follow the crowd bandwagon. Always think home and take your studies very seriously, so that you can pass with a good score. I know mum, I thank you for instilling in me the ability of differentiating what is good from what is bad. I will never allow that to part from me. I know where I come from, and I will do my best not to forget my ultimate goal. Being to come and take care of you once I am done. I also want you to stay strong for me, while I go through this higher level of reform. I know this stage will not be easy and I promise to deliver on my own end. I will always come home at any possible chance I get. I hope I can stay a week without seeing you mum. You have to Samara. You cannot afford to always be on the road going and coming from school. So do well to take care of yourself and don't miss me too much. Yes mum. My buddy Samara, how are you doing? You are looking all fresh. What's up? I am good my friend. I see you are still running the street like always. Yes my brother, I cannot afford to lose the street. What will I eat and how will I maintain my freshness? <laughs> but you know one day you will have to leave this whole setup and get something better bro. This cannot be your forever life plan. Samara my brother, look around, the street will always be here. I will take my share for as long as it keeps giving. I am here to squeeze my share. So where are you headed to? I am going to the uni. We are resuming on Monday and I need to be there by tomorrow to get my accommodation and other things sorted out before lectures start. So I am taking the night bus off to school. Are you serious my man? You never even mentioned it. Say you don't remember, I told you last week, when you were running around to supply as bricks to the construction company. I didn't understand what you were telling me. I was so occupied, sorry my friend, you know what, to make up for the forgetfulness, I will give you this 12,000 to support your feeding in school for two months or more. That's much my man, thank you for this gift. You have made my going back to school a luxury. Thank you so much Sebastian. Don't mention it Sam, if I had remembered, I would have had more to give you. But nevertheless, if you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks so much my bro. Please always try and check up on my mum once in a while. So that she doesn't feel lonely. You don't have any problem, I will. Just take care of yourself. Most of the books I need are here in the library. I plan on making use of these books, that way, I can save a lot of money from my scholarship. Money that I know mum will need. I just need to figure out how to handle those lecturers who insist that students must buy their textbooks or fail their course. Young man. My gang and I were looking at you right from the moment you stepped into the school. You are going to make a fine addition to our group. What gang is that? And what benefit is there for your members? We will make sure that no one ever disturbs you or intimidates you. No matter who they are. Well sir, what if I don't want to be a member? There's no negotiation here. You must join us or we will make your stay here miserable. That's not what I mean sir. I mean, 
Someone like me is already dedicated to an almighty being, and I can't join your gang without invoking trouble on you and I. In fact, if I join your gang, things will start going topsy-toddy in your group. You will witness a lot of backsliding and misfortune. Are you for real on what you are saying? I am not joking with you man. To tell you I am serious, I am willing to join you today, but be rest assured, we are all going to have an epiphany within a week. And both of us will regret it sir. This one is a bad sell, a bad market. Young man, I will leave you alone, but I don't want you interfering with any of our works here. Hope I have made myself clear. Yes sir, you have. Thank you. Boss, there's a surge of demand for our P30 gold. And we are about to run out of stock. How many do we have now? About 20 or 22 pieces boss. That's too small, why didn't you say so on time? You know today is Friday and a lot of demand will be made due to clubbing activities. I am sorry sir, I should have told you on time. I have to think fast. I will have to dash out to meet my dealer. Tell our sellers to be on ground, I will be back with some more. Normally, my protocol with my producer is that I call him before I come to see him. I just have to risk going without calling him. I am almost there. This is where I normally meet him. Don't know if he is the owner of this dinner or he just uses the place as a selling font. He are you there? Freeze. Turn around and put your hands where I can see them. Yes officer. My hand are in the air. You are under arrest for buying and distribution of illegal drugs. You are going with me to the stay in. Officer, what are my offense? What am I looking at? Don't worry yourself. You will know when we get to the station. For your safety and evidence, we are being recorded. Please tell me, what exactly were you there to buy? And before you answer, remember we have been gathering evidence on this case for one year now. I came to see my friend. I didn't know he was in trouble. Who's your friend and what's his name? I don't know his real name, I only know his alias. Loco is what I call him. So you know Bernard Fulfall, aka Loco, aka Redbeard. The major producer of P30 Gold in the West. Man, you are in a big trouble. Please officer, I was just there to deliver a message. I don't know anything about P30 Silver. You mean P30 Gold or is there another product called P30 Silver? You were just there to deliver a message. What message is that? I, I, I. You are lying young man. You had 50,000 in cash. We believe that's money to buy the P30 gold. Maybe I was not clear. If you do not cooperate with us, you could be looking at 25 years to life. But if you cooperate with us, you could be looking at only getting 2 to 5 years. Depending on how your cooperation helped us get to Loco. Please I can't afford to go to jail, not to talk of staying for 25 years. Please officer, what do you want from me? I will cooperate with you. Good. We need to get to Bernard Fulfall. We need you to contact him. Then we can catch him in the act of selling the P30 gold to you. If everything works out fine, then we can talk about how many years you get. I usually get hold of him through a phone call. Then he will tell me where to meet him. That's good. Let's swing to action now. Call him. Hello Loco, I need to get some P30 gold. Where do I meet you? I need to go home to see my mum. It's been a while since I travelled home. I thank God we have finished this year's exams and there's nothing serious to do back here in school. Going home will save me a lot of expenses. My son, my so Samara is home. It's been like ages you left home, how I missed you so much my son. Same here mum, every night I always saw myself returning home to do the chores and stay with you. When I wake up in the morning I felt bad when I realize it was all a dream. How I gave missed your food mum. Hope you have soup prepared already mum. Because I can't wait to taste your food again. <laughs> Don't worry son, there's food at home, and I will cook for you any meal you want. Just name it. Yes, that's what I want mum. Thank you very much mum. I will eat till my belly is full. What about Sebastian's mum? Check her in her shop there. Hello auntie, how are you? Samara, is this you? You are back from school. Yes mom, it's me. You are looking so good and all grown up. How is studies in school? 
Studies is fine and hard, but I thank God I found a way. How is Sebastian? Is he at home? My son, it's a long story. Sebastian is in. You tipped off Loco. The person we caught that came to do the deal was not Bernard Fulfall. It was one of his minions. You told him a secret code that tipped him off. What was it? Where is he? No officer, I didn't tip him off. I didn't say any code word. I don't even know what or how to use a code word. I did everything you asked, exactly the way you said I should. Maybe he saw you arresting me and decided not to show up. I don't know. What did we miss? How did Red Beard elude us? This was closest we ever came. What about me, officer? What about you? What of the deal you told me? Can I be set free? I am sorry. That will not be possible. Your intel did not catch us the Red Beard, so you will have to do some time. And Yarame is also subject to some fine. So you mean, if could raise some money, I would be a free man? Yes, even though it will nit be immediately. You will stay like two weeks then go. How much are we talking about officer? Like 200,000. I have to call home sir. Oh my son Samara, we rallied to raise that amount. We had to sell all of Sebastian's properties and even mine too. All that was left was my shop. Yet we couldn't raise up to 100,000. When we took it to Officer Brat, he collected it and said it was drug money proceed and it was going to be used as evidence in court. At the end my son was given five years. That was manipulation. Five years is too much. I will go and see them and file for appeal. I will go there tomorrow. Let me hear for myself what's really up. Welcome. You said Samara was your name. Yes Officer Brett. I am here on behalf of my friend Sebastian. After going through his case, I have come to the possible conclusion that he has paid all fees that a normal bail should be. Are you a lawyer boy? Not yet, but soon to be. And according to our constitution, a cooperative suspect is given a leaner punishment. And from what I lent, my client cooperation facilitated in your arrest of another dealer. Maybe he was not the dealer you wanted, but my client did what you asked. So, you were supposed to have told my client his rights and bargains. Also, the money you collected should have been used to push for his bail and not tagged as exhibit or drug money. So officer, I would like you, in good faith to revisit and adjust the peculiarity of this case. Um, you have made a valise argument. I will have to adjust these argument on his case file, then tell you when possible his release date will be. No officer, this would have been the case if you had not already collected the bail money given to you. What I would accept now is if you release him to me, then give us a date we would come back to finalize all documentation of his discharge. That's what section 49 says sir. Alright, alright, just give me a minute, let me sign the release form. I thought I was going to remain there for a very long time Samara. I had lost hope of ever regaining my freedom. Thank you so much my brother Samara. How did you manage to get them to release me? It's just a bit of what I have been learning in school. I am glad I could use it to get you this freedom. I heard that I have lost everything I owned before I was arrested. I heard even my car has been auctioned as well. Where do I go from here now? Do not be worried my friend, as long as there's life, there will be hope too. Thank God you have your freedom now. Oh my son, Sebastian is back. What a miracle to behold. Yes mum, I thought I would never see you again. Thanks to Samara. Thank God, I did all I could, sold many things I could lay my hands on just to give that officer, but he refused to let you go. I am sorry you had to stay in there for a longer period. It's okay now mum, I am home. I will rebuild from here, we will get better and okay. I am tired Mo and will like to go rest. You can go home and rest. Your sisters will be glad to see you. It's been over three years now and I haven't been able to progress past this level. I can't deal on some certain level because the police still have their eyes on me. Even with all the things going on and how the police have been looking for Loco, he is still doing his things and is still swimming in money. I wish I could know and do what he does. I will go and see Loco again. I will beg him to please let me in on his success steps. Maybe he can help me get out of this situation. Thank you for agreeing to see me loco, I know since the last event, agreeing to see me has become a bog risk to take, for someone of your status. I know right, that's why I chose this place to meet you. I don't want any surprises. So what's up, 
I was impressed how you left the police custody. No one I know has done that the way you did. Yes, Loco. It was my brother in the hood that came and bailed me out. If not for him, I would still be there after spending all I had to payment. I see. He must be a sharp guy. Yes, he is. So, Loco, I came to let you know that I spent everything I had in this case. As such I have ran broke, without anything to go by. I beg you to please put me to more task or use, so I can be able to earn more. Please. Well, you see my guy, things have evolved. But the issue is, can you do what I do to make this money? Yes of course, I am ready to do what you are doing. Is that not what we are already doing? Moving stuffs, selling them and making sure we don't get caught in between. That was what I was doing, but that alone my friend, is not enough. So I have taken it a notch higher. Why haven't you asked yourself, how I wasn't caught by the police when they were looking for me? But, the question is, will you be able to do what it takes? Yes I will. Anything to make this money I will do it. I have suffered my friend and I will do anything to end the suffering. I don't see myself living without money. I will take you somewhere, but know that a great sacrifice will be needed from you. Thank you Loco. I will be ready. I can't believe that my son is now a graduate. God how wonderful you are. Leading us when we had nothing and no one to lean on. Thank you God. Yes mum, I have a big feeling that tomorrow will now be better for me and you. I just need to settle and I will find something doing immediately. We have a lot of prospects around. What of Sebastian and his family? Sebastian's mum died some months ago. That's a terrible news to hear. She was a kind woman to me. Yes. Then Sebastian and his sisters have moved to their permanent house. Sebastian is now a very, very rich boy. Really mum? That's good I will go visit him if you know where they now live. Yes I do. Welcome to my crib Samara. It's good to see you here. Thank you my brother. You have a very beautiful house here. This is awesome. So my brother, without much talk, I have come to ask for your help, to show me the formula you used in being successful. I don't want to remain in poverty any longer. The problem is my brother. Will you be able to do what is required of you? For your need to bring a great sacrifice. A great sacrifice. What other sacrifice is greater thank hard work and dedication my brother. <laughs> my brother, are you kidding me? Look around you. Do you know how many hard working and dedicated individuals are living from hand to mouth? Without shelter and good food to go by. Do you know how many first class graduates who are still looking for work 10 to 20 years after they graduated? Yes I know Sebastian, the labor market is saturated and requires a lot of ingenuity by one to be able to break it and become exceptional. No, that's not it, you still do not see the bigger picture here. There are forces in this world you do not know about. Forces that will not just allow you to progress without bowing to them or paying your dues to them. These forces are there making sure that people like you, who do not know what the system is all about, people who only rely on their talent or knowledge alone, are frustrated and subdued to a point of no performance. You are getting me scared bro. You have never spoken like this before. You always believed that with our strength and might, we could take over the streets and collect our share from it. Yes, that's before I knew what I know now. I mean, you saw what happened to me with the police and how I lost everything to that event. That was the forces I am telling you about at work. But once you get yourself aligned to it, bit by bit, everything fall in place for you and works for you. It becomes like a boat moving in the same direction as the streams flow. Okay, so who are these forces and how does one get to know it and paid use to it? Now you have started asking the right questions. But you need to have that conviction within yourself that's a going to do as they say for me to take you to them. I do not understand you Sebastian. What I mean is that there's no going back. I cannot tell you and you end up say, I'm not interested anymore. You have to be interested all the way. Yes of course my brother. I am interested, I need to make money too like you. That's good, if you are ready now, we can go there. Unless you want to go and come back. No, no time to waste, let's go my brother. Where did I just visit like this? So this is where Sebastian got his wealth from. So that's why his mother died recently. He traded his mum's life for the wealth he is enjoying now. That's why they said it's a great sacrifice. I couldn't look at the face of the so-called chief priest. 
Her eyes was like that of a dead owl and her neck thin like a vulture's leg. Why did I agree to go there at all? I should have not agreed to begin with. Now they said I need to offer my mum as a sacrifice to them. That if I know that I will be influential and rich, I should offer her and see how I would become so untouchable. The question is, who am I then making the money for? Is it not because of my mum that I want to become rich in the first place? How terrifying it will be for me to lose my mum in the pursuit for wealth. Oh Sebastian, so you choose money over your mum's life. The agony that you will be faced with is still coming. Now I have a big problem. They said they are giving me six days before they come for me. What do I do now? What have I gotten myself into? Your food is ready son, should I bring it? No, no mum, I am not hungry. I don't feel like eating now. Are you alright son? You have not been yourself since you came back from going to see your friend Sebastian. What happened? Did you two have a quarrel? No mum, we didn't. But I wish we did. So what happened? It's unthinkable and absurd mum. I do not even know where to start from and I think we need a special help mum. Tell me everything son. So that's everything mum. Now they said I owe lyrics have six days to comply or they will visit me with great plague. Did you collect anything from them or did you collect anything and eat while you were visiting the shrine? No mum, I did not. Good, get up let's go to the church as see our pastor. We need to start praying. We need to take the fasting and praying seriously. We don't need to be afraid. There's no power on earth that can go against the power of God. Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 to 11 says, Therefore God has highly exalted him and has freely bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, of those in heaven, those on earth and those under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Exactly mom, initially I was very much afraid, but after listening to the man of God speak and reading the Bible verses he told us too, I became more confident and pumped up. It is when we go all out in pursuit of our comfort and wealth, that the system the devil put in place begins to taunt us and lure you into accepting his deals and depriving us of the full joy associated with having those things. Meanwhile, God has given it to us with no sorrow or regret, all we need to do is to seek him first. Yes, all the good things that was assigned to us by God in our life, have been placed along our destiny path. When we are aligned with God, who is our creator, we submit to his will, we agree for him to give us those things in his own time, freely. But when we go to other sources in search of these gifts, the devil tricks us with the promise of giving us these gifts in a collapsed time if we agree to trade off something valuable to us. That's how they told me to bring you as a sacrifice. Imagine if I agreed, I would have been devastated. I really pity Sebastian, he would be feeling terrible on the inside now. We need to really pray for him too. Exactly. Tamara and his mum proceeded to pray and fast as planned. They got free from the threat of the witches. Sebastian's story had a different turn. Thank you for watching our story to the end, we appreciate you so much. See you soon and remain blessed.